Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really nice gift box. Um, it's quite large. It's exactly the same um, style or, uh, as the Big Bow gift box that I've done and I'll link that one. Um, but this one's just taller and a bit thinner. Um, and I've done this different um, technique with the ribbon. So the ribbon actually is attached to the bottom here. So when you undo all of this, which I'll show you, so I've just wrapped that loosely, the tag on there, just to show you. I've just done a matching little tag there and I've done a little, um, there we go, happy, and it's got some little um, flowers. So that one just comes off easily at the minute because I haven't really attached it properly. But this is a double bow because obviously there's four pieces of ribbon. So you just undo the whole thing. It all comes down and it's still attached so you know you're not going to lose that all and then you just open it up and inside you can see you've got a really large um, gift box this one measures it up at four by eight and a half so it's a really nice size so that's that one there i'm not going to faff about with the bow those of you that follow me enough now know that bows take me a while so there we go i'll just pop that all to one okay, side so to make this one you are going to need as I, as i do i bring everything into the screen I've already prepped some of it, get rid of this, all my tape and scissors, you don't need to see all that. So the papers that I'm using, I'm doing a completely different colourway with this one, so I'm doing black and craft card. But I got these paper packs um, from the works, um, and I think they were like 99p, I know they were 99p or 199 I think they were 99p. And they're lovely, they're only single sided, but they're just really unusual, so I've got three of the same, because that one I love, and then I've just got one of the silver. But if I just quickly flick through... See, some of them are just plain, and then you've got this beautiful foiled bird, or sparrow. Lovely one there with the roses, which is what I'm using today. Um, another really lovely foiled one. And, you, know, you can colour these in as well with like gel pens and stuff. They'd look really good. Strawberries. Um, there's another really good, yeah, that one there. It's just really lovely. So, again, um, the Works UK, I'll have a look and I'll share the links to the Works anyway, but I know a lot of people do have one nearby, so check out their craft section because some of them are really good. And that's the silver one, I'll just flick through there and you can see it's some really different. This one's quite good for birthdays because it's got numbers and letters. Um, there you go, so I just thought some of those, that one's really good, really fun. Um, polka dots and some stripes again, so really good. So. Okay, I've got ribbon. I'll go through the lengths of that in a second. I've already prepared my card there. So again, using that um, flower background, the same as what I'm going to be using today. Um, just on the happy. And okay, so this is what we're going to need. That one's already done. So you need two pieces of eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And this is going to be for the actual main case. Okay, so two pieces of that. You then need two pieces of eight by eight, and that's for the lid and the base. And then you'll need four pieces of pattern paper. Now the paper pack I'm using, they only have two of each design. Um, no, three of each design, sorry, and I need four sides and I can't get the, the right amount from just one piece of six by six. So I've gone flower stripe. So that's also another good thing is that if you're ever using flowers, they work really well with polka dots and stripes. So just another little thing there. So this is three and five eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. So you need four pieces of that size. Um, okay, so first of all, starting off with our side pieces here. So along your eight and a quarter inch side, you want to score, first of all, you want to pull the card out just ever so slightly, so it's literally coming halfway from the edge of your scoreboard here to the first notch. You just want it in between, so it's just revealing a little bit of the scoreboard underneath there. If I push it back in, see it disappears, and if I pull it out a little bit, you can just see the bottom of the scoreboard appear. Pull it out, and you want to score at four inches, okay? Don't pull it out right up to the first notch, that one eighth of an inch halfway okay then push it back in again so it's nice and flush and score at seven and seven eighths of an inch and by doing that it allows us to sit inside the base so we just need to shrink it down that little bit okay then that's all the scoring there so repeat that on your other piece you should have two pieces like so I've already prepared this one with my pieces stuck down once you've prepared those two, what you can do is stick your DSP on because it's easier to do it while it's flat. But what you want to do is you want to stick it so that it comes up 
um, one and a quarter inches from the bottom because the lid is going to sit the base sorry, is going to sit in the bottom here so you don't want to put your DSP right down the bottom because it's going to get hidden so if you bring it up to one and a quarter it will give you that nice quarter inch border all the way around as you can see I've got there okay so like I said bring it up and then stick it one and a quarter inch up and just make sure that you give yourself an even border on each of the sides there as well okay so I've got these two pieces here so like I said one will be going one and a quarter up there and the other one will be going in there so I'm just going to quickly stick those down in place okay so I've got them all both stuck down now so pop them to one side don't worry about where I put the tape for the minute so I want you to do this next bit and then that will um, it will make the sticking and where to put the sticky tape easier so you need two pieces of eight by eight one piece you're going to score, well both pieces you're going to score this same way actually, it's just this, um, the top one, sorry, the bottom one you need to put these holes in. So both pieces you want to score at one inch, two inch, six inch and seven inch. And then rotate the card and score again at one, two, six and seven. Okay. So then what you want to do with only one of them, because they're both the same size, each one is exactly the same size. So what you want to do first of all, before we um, burnish it, let me get rid of this scoreboard. You need one of these tools or a pokey tool, or if you do have a hole punch that will come in, um, how far in is this? One and a half inches, then that will work fine. But this one here, I use it a lot now, it's one of my go-tos um, and it's the X-Cut Screw Punch, it's brilliant. So basically you just want to, so the inner long rectangles, the four ones here, so you've got your big square in the middle and then those four long ones that are right next to it, they're the ones you want to hole punch in. These outer ones leave empty. If you measure, they're four inches, so just put a little marker from the inside square here just putting a little marker at two okay and then you want to come up just over half an inch yeah no half an inch because it's it's a one inch um, uh, rectangle so you want to come in at half an inch and that's where you want to do your hole punch so right in the center of that rectangle so I've already done the three there so I'm just going to do this one let me just quickly mark this one up so two just put a little marker with my pokey tool and then I can just sit this over there we go and that gives you your holes and they're just really nice and neat so yeah like I said highly recommend that one again I'll share all the links so now that you've done that you can burnish all of your score lines so just go over again with the craft card you have to work it a little bit more but it's a really robust strong card Okay, and do that all with the second piece as well. Remember, it's only one piece that you're doing the hole punches on. Then we want to do some cutting. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and pick a side. It doesn't matter because they're all the same. And you've got four squares in the corner, just with any reinforced lids that I do or boxes. You want to just cut down both of those, like so. Okay, so you've got these two tabs. Then turn it to one side and cut one of them completely out. Just take a little notch wedge off the corner there, cut that one down, come back around to this one, take a little wedge off, and then take little wedges off of that as well. So what you're creating is a little tab there, okay? So again, I'll go across to this one, cut all the way down. Cut that end one off completely, that one. like so okay then rotate the whole thing so now that side's facing away from you and just go ahead and do exactly the same again okay so that's what you should now have okay and you'll have another one exactly the same but minus these holes in it okay so now with this one we need to just prepare the ribbon before we stick it all down so I've got here four pieces of this ribbon here. It's a really nice one. It's like an ombre kind of like um, blended ribbon. Again, this was from the range in the UK. Remember, I've done a um, Facebook Live of all these um, 12 meter 
um, uh, ribbons that we brought. There were so many of them. Um, so these measure 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So you want four pieces of 27. So it is a lot, but it's going up that side and then over and then being wrapped in a bow as well. So that's what you need, or that's what I've used anyway for mine. What you want to do is from the outside, so this is how the base will sit and these will be the sides that are going to come up. You want to just go in like so, okay, just like that. I'm just going to then trim it so it's nice and straight and I haven't got any frayed bits. And then just with some double sided tape, I'm just going to pop a bit along the top there. Okay, so you can see what I've done, I'll just bring it up. So I've just put a bit of tape above it there, all right, just in that section. So just remove the tape. And then just fold it back on that, like so, okay? Just keeps it in place. And then I'm gonna be using my tacky glue. And I'm just gonna run glue all along. No, nope, I've gone too far ahead, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that bit. Right, go around and do what I've just done with the ribbon. Oh, what I'm doing there, I've gone completely ahead. You do the sides first. I should know that, I do enough of them. Right, so just rotate and grab another bit of ribbon. And again, pop that through. I don't really need to trim that one, that one's okay. Grab my double-sided tape again and just go around and do that just to get them all secure in okay, place. Okay, so they're now all in place. So just flip it over, so they are all kind of just falling off the sides there. And on the outside of all of these little tabs, you wanna just put some glue. So I'm just running, again, my tacky glue. And then you're just gonna pop it underneath so it starts to come up and form a corner. And just stick that down so it's nice and secure. Those of you that watch me regularly will whiz through this now because uh, you know what I'm going to say next. So then you go around to this next one, pop a little bit of uh, glue on top, like so. And again, just bring it underneath so it comes around like so. Okay, and just do that on the other two corners. Okay, so that's now what you should have, so you can see your base coming together. Now you will re you'll do exactly this process with that other piece. All you're doing is you're not putting the holes in it, but in terms of putting it together, it'd be exactly the same as this. Then just fold out those outer ones, and inside here, again, just put more glue, like so. Okay, and then you wanna just fold that one right over. Ribbon is going to get in your way a bit so you just need to kind of push it to one side. Pop it on its side and just with your bone tool just rub that tab down so you're spreading all that glue out and you're also giving it a really nice edge. Okay like so. So I've got a really nice side there to that base. So again go around to that one, pop the glue on, do that okay, one so and that's that what you should have. So now you have your base all nicely concealed um, and obviously the ribbon's hanging over. Now you can also use acetate to go around in here which is why I showed you concealing it like this. You could just tuck the ribbon in but I don't think it looks as nice. It looks nice coming through a punched hole like that. So play around with it. I mean you might find other ways but that I think is a really neat and relatively easy way to do it. So that's that one. So now we can go back. So you will have two now. So I've already done my lid. Okay so you'll have two pieces. One that's without the holes. Then grab these two pieces that we already stuck the DSP onto and what you want to do is along the bottom, so I've got my tabs on the right hand side, okay, my right hand side and then what you want to do is with this is just bring it down, let me just use one piece, I don't need both of you, bring this down to the bottom and it will come up one inch. If you just mark with a pencil a little one inch or do a thin pencil line all the way across there, then just apply your sticky tape below that pencil line and even a little bit below the pencil because you don't want any of that sticky um, to come over the top of this. So now when I when that will stick inside this bit here, because it's going to be, you want to stick it on the outside of this, so on the side with the DSP because this is going to be going inside the base like so. So if I bring that up there you can see that none of that red tape is showing and I've got that nice border that I was talking about before. Okay, so stick it all along there and stick it all down your tabs and do that on both pieces and then 
If you take off your side panels first, like so, and you just want to make sure you get it nice and lined up. Start at the top, I always say start at the top and then you'll know because that's the bit that's really going to be seen. You can always trim the bottom if you're slightly off because you won't see that like I am for some reason. Why is that? Did I not cut that right? Was that a funny piece? Oh, so maybe that one's a bit shorter. No, that's fine. I'm going to see just like I said. Now I can just easily, can you see that's slightly longer? Um, this one's just a little bit longer than eight and a quarter, but I can just go along there now and trim that and it's not going to, you know, make any difference to my box. So I'm quickly going to do that now. Okay, so that's all rectified now. So then we stuck that one down, flip it over, fold this one over first with that sticky piece, and then you should be able to lie this one down completely flat on top and it will line up perfectly, just like so. And again, I need to trim that just a little bit there. I've done that on my trimmer, so obviously didn't hold it completely flat. Right, so there we have this tube now kind of coming together. Now remove all of your tape from the bottom. Okay, then grab your base, so the piece with all the ribbon. Okay, and you want to hold this with the glue at the bottom, and you want to push all of them in like that, so you get that shape, okay. Then pop it into your base. Make sure all the corners meet all the corners of the base and just let it kind of expand out into place so it will be like that and then put your hand in and go along the bottom and just flat, flatten each one against the side. Okay, so just play around with it a bit till you're happy that you've got it all in place and that's what you should have. So you've got a nice box coming together. Okay, then just grab your lid because that's all ready and that will sit nice and flush on top of your box, like so, okay? And then grab each of these pieces, bring them up to the top. So I've got two on that side, bring these two up this side, okay? And then just tie them together, just as you would any other bow. So just imagine now that you've just got two pieces, like so. So I'm just gonna, it's a little bit fiddly, but it does work. This is like an organza ribbon, so it should become really quite a full bow. So now you can see I'm just pulling it all together. You can go around, make sure, depending on what Okay, so you're I've done using. the bow. My video just cut off as I was doing the bow. I was going to just keep going <laughs> and show you, but I've, I've done it. You can see there, it's a nice double, double bow with the double little tails there as well. So there is gift box. So the tag I've got, I just need some black string, I haven't cut it, but that will just tie around there and kind of just hang down on the side. But I think that's really quite adorable. So completely different with the craft card and the black there. And then you've got, you see this one here, which I haven't tied all back up yet, but really girly, really cute. So um, yeah, hope I've inspired you, given you some ideas and you give it a go. So hope you enjoyed today and um, please hit that like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.